we all understand that the longer you borrow money for, the more risk there is that factors may affect the price that you paid for that bond. And price is implicitly related to interest, and it's also related to time. When we draw structures or graphs of what we call the yield curve, and it's very simple. The longer dated the bond is, the more risky it is, and the higher the interest on it. Now, we're looking at U.S. government bonds right now that are yielding about 270, 2.7% a year. Treasury bills are yielding 8 basis points all the way out to 20 basis points, roughly. Treasury notes go from 20 basis points, 30 basis points around the two-year maturity, all the way out to, like I said, the 275 roughly for the 30-year bond. And if you draw a graph of that, it's called the yield curve. I hope you guys can see this graph. Now, as the yield goes up on this side of the chart, this is yield. It goes up from 0% all the way up to 3% in the case of U.S. government bonds versus the time frame. It's pretty simple. From zero maturities here all the way out to 30-year maturities here. That's called a normal yield curve. That structure will change at times, and that's going to be another lesson at this point.